what goes around. Wahdan was a man in his sixties. After he got weakened and couldn't take care of himself because of elderly diseases he got, he waited for some help from his three children and wished if they could take care of him, specifically after his wife's death. But they dismissed all of that, and because he loved them, he was scared for them from Allah's punishment. He was also worried about how their own children would treat them when they grow up. So he decided to gather them and pointed towards the corner of the house, saying, There's a box over there that possesses valuable treasures, which I saved for you. And now you have to take care of me, so that when I die, you can split it amongst you all. And should I remind you of the Prophet's hadith, The father is the middle drawer of the paradise, so it is up to you whether you take advantage of it or not. The children loved the idea, which led to a change with the way they treated their father. They started competing on who's going to please their father till his death occurred. After the funeral, they hurried their way back home to open the box. Thereupon, they found nothing in the box except for a piece of paper with a message written on it that said, Listen, boys, and understand, I paid for everything you needed till you became grown men exactly as my father did with me. Throughout my journey with you, I have never forgotten about my parents and I took care of them till they passed away with all the love I had. When I saw the way you were treating me, I was worried about how your own kids would treat you as I've had my experience and I know all about it. What goes around comes around. That's why I pulled off the treasure trick so your children could see how good you treated me in the last days hoping they would do the same with you. And as the Prophet once said, Be good to your fathers, and your children would be good to you. The children were in shock with what they found, and they confessed that their father was right, as they said, Our father taught us a lesson we'll never forget, which is greater than any treasure in the world. And thanks to Allah, we got to be good to him in his last days for our future children. We only wish from Allah to get our children to do the same with us. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا